क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स कंसिडर दी फॉलोइंग सेट ऑफ रियक्शन विच आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम कैल्शियम सो वी हैव कैल्शियम विच इज हीटेड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एयर टू फॉर्म पी एन क्यू द प्रोडक्ट पी रियक्ट विद सीओ टू टू फॉर्म प्रेसिपिटेड पी एंड दी प्रोडक्ट क्यू विच वॉज फॉर्म इज हाइड्रोलाइज टू गिव एस ए एंड बी सो इट इज गिवेन टू एस दैट दी बी रियक्ट विद एल्कलाइन सोल्यूशन ऑफ के टू एच जी आई फोर टू गिव यू सो लेट एस फर्स्ट ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट दी रियक्शन सो वी हैव कैल्शियम हीटेड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एयर सो एयर मेजरली कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओ टू एंड एन टू एंड विल हैव दी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ऑक्साइड एज वेल एज द नाइट्राइड सो वी हैव सी ए ओ प्लस सी ए थ्री एन टू नाउ दिस इज अर प्रोडक्ट पी एंड दिस इज अर प्रोडक्ट क्यू नाउ दिस पी इज अलाउड टू रियक्ट विथ सीओ टू इट फॉर्म्स सी ए सीओ थ्री विच इज द प्रोडक्ट टी एंड क्यू वेन इट इज अलाउड टू अंडर गो हाइड्रोलिस इट फॉर्म्स सी ए ओ एच होल्ड वाइज प्लस अमोनिया गैस सो बी इज अमोनिया एंड ए इज कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड नाउट इज गिवेन टू एस दैट बी रियक्ट विथ अल्कलाइन सोल्यूशन ऑफ के टू एच जी आई फोर बी नो दैट रियक्शन वी हैव एन एच थ्री प्लस के टू एच जी आई फोर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेसिक मीडियम टू फॉर्म आयोडाइड ऑफ मिलन बेस सो वी हैव एन एच टू एच जी O H G I. So the examiner seems to be interested in knowing about the percentage of oxygen and nitrogen in the product. So we can first try and figure out the molar mass of the structure. So the molar mass of iodide of Millen's base is equal to five fifty nine. And if we try and figure out the percentage of oxygen, so it is sixteen upon five five nine into hundred. Which is approximately equal to two point eight six percent, and if we talk about the percentage of nitrogen, so that is fourteen upon five fifty nine into hundred, which is approximately equal to two point five percent. So if we look at the options, both of these statements are incorrect. The percentage of oxygen is two point eight six. and the percentage of nitrogen is 2.5 so we have to select the fourth option as the correct answer to our question let us look at the next question now question number 37 a salt ab which is a salt of a strong acid and a weak base exist in a crystalline rock salt type of structure so students rock salt structure is nacl type having density equal to 3.2 g per cm3 so it is further given to us that if 6 gram of the given salt produces a solution of ph equal to 5 when dissolved in 10 liter of water what is the shortest distance between a plus and b minus in angstrom so students the salt given to us is a plus and b minus so it is a salt of a strong acid and a weak base so the a plus which is the conjugate of the weak base will take part in hydrolysis so it will produce aoh Plus H plus, so we can also figure out the hydrolysis constant of this reaction. So K H shall be equal to K W by K B. So which on simplification gives us a value of 10 to the power minus 8. Now if we assume that the concentration of A positive be equal to C initially, so H two O, the concentration of H two O is constant and we need not be worried about it. So let's say at the equilibrium it's C minus X, and it is X and X. So the value of x has been given to us. It is equal to 10 to the power minus 5, as the pH of the solution is equal to 5, as we had seen before. So if we try and solve the K equilibrium for the value of c, we'll have x square upon c minus x equal to 10 to the power minus 8. So we can approximate it to equal to c, and we can find out the error later. So we have 10 to the power minus 10 upon C equal to 10 to the power minus 8. So in solving this equation, we have the value of C equal to 10 to the power minus 2. So our approximation is correct. We have neglected 10 to the power minus 5 in respect to 10 to the power minus 2, which will not lead to a significant error. So we can now figure out the molar mass of the salt. So it was given to us that 6 gram was dissolved in 10 liters. So we have 6 upon m not upon 10. It is equal to 10 to the power minus 2. We can solve this expression to find the value of m not, which is equal to 
60. Now we have to find out the value of A by using the density data which is given to us. So we know that D is equal to Z which is the number of formula units present in one unit cell into M0 upon Na upon A cube. So the value of D is given to us it is 3.2 Z since it is NACL type of structure the value of Z shall be equal to 4. The value of M0 we have already found out it's right now it is equal to 60. The value of Na is 6 into 10 to the power 23 and the value of A cube we can find out. So in solving this expression we have the value of A cube is equal to 125 into 10 to the power minus 24. So we have the value of A is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeters. So which is nothing but 5 angstrom. So the examiner seems to be interested in the shortest distance between A plus and B minus. So we know that the structure of rock salt has one species at the corner while the other species is present at the octahedral void which is present at the edge center. So the examiner is really interested in the value of A by 2 which is equal to 2.5 angstroms. So students looking at the option we can see that we have to mark option 1 as the correct answer to question number 37. Let us look at the next question question number 38. Consider the aromatic behavior of the following molecules. So we have been given some structures and the examiner seems to be interested in knowing about how many of these given structures are aromatic in nature. So let us start with the molecule given in option A. So we have nitrogen and boron in the six membered ring. Students we know that nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons so which can get donated into the empty orbital of boron. So there will be six pi electrons in complete conjugation. This is aromatic. In the second structure also we have alternating boron and nitrogens. All the nitrogens have lone pair of electrons. Whereas all the borons have vacant p orbitals. So this is borazine and we know that the lone pairs of nitrogen can be delocalized into vacant orbitals of boron to give this structure an aromatic nature. So B is also aromatic. Let us look at the third option now. So we have a four membered ring in which nitrogens are present. So we have only four pi electrons in complete conjugation. This is anti-aromatic. This is not aromatic in nature. Let us look at the D option now. In the D option the carbocation can also again be stabilized by the lone pairs of nitrogen which will lead to the system having six pi electrons in complete conjugation. This structure is also aromatic. Let us look at the product E which is formed by the electrolysis of the compound on the left. So electrolysis is going to generate radicals everywhere that radicals will combine to give us benzene which is the product E. So this is also aromatic in nature. Let us look at the F option now. So we have thiophene given to us. Thiophene is also aromatic. The lone pairs of sulfur are delocalized and involved in aromaticity. Let us look at the compound given in option G now. So we have a five membered ring with tellurium as one of the members in the ring. So students tellurium has a larger size lone pair which cannot be involved in overlap with the smaller orbitals of carbon. So this is non-aromatic as the lone pairs of tellurium are larger. Okay. Let us look at the last compound now option H. So we have six pi electrons in complete conjugation with the vacant orbitals of boron. So this will also be an aromatic structure. So looking at the options we can see that six of these structures are aromatic in nature and we have to select option two as the correct answer to this question. Let us look at the next question now. Question number 39. A thermally insulated vessel is divided into two compartments A and B by a partition of insulating material. Compartment A has 0.1 mole of helium at 427 degrees C and 1 atmosphere and compartment B has X mole of neon at 127 degrees C and 1 atmosphere. If the partition is removed and final temperature of gas is 227 degrees C then the value of X is. So we have to assume that the value of Cv is same for both the gases. Students, we have a system in which there are two gases helium and neon the system is insulated so no heat flows into the system and no heat flows out of the system. We have 0.1 moles of helium 
the initial temperature is equal to 427 degrees C and we have x moles of neon the value of x is unknown to us the temperature initially of the neon chamber was equal to 127 degrees C now students it is told to us that the partition is removed so when this partition is removed then there will be mixing of the gases but since the system is isolated there will be no heat transfer outside the system so what is going to happen is helium is hotter and neon is colder so when they are allowed to mix there will be flow of heat from helium to neon until both the gases have the same temperature so we can directly apply the conservation of heat so heat lost is equal to heat gain we can deal in terms of internal energy also so we can see that delta u which is of helium is equal to delta u of neon so we can have n cv delta t so it is 0 0.1 the cv values are same so we will not write that down into delta t so it was 427 initially finally it is mentioned to us that the temperature was 227 degree c so 227 it shall be equal to x into 227 minus the initial temperature of neon which was 127 degree c so we can see that this will simplify to 0.1 into 200 equal to x into 100 so in simplification we have a value of x equal to 0 0.2 so we have 0 0.2 moles of neon in the system the value of x is equal to 0 0.2 so students we have to mark option 2 as the correct answer to our question let us look at the next question now question number 40 the resistance of a 0 0.1 molar solution of a weak acid ha in a cell was found to be 600 ohm what will be its ph at the same concentration so students we can first try and figure out the kappa value so we know that kappa conductivity is equal to g into g star where g is the conductance and g star is the cell constant so the value of conductance is equal to 1 upon 600 as it is inverse of the resistance and the value of g star given to us is 0 0.936 centimeter inverse so the value of kappa comes out to be equal to this value into simon centimeter inverse so the value of lambda m shall be equal to kappa by c into 1000 as the concentration given to us is in terms of molarity value of kappa was this 0 0.936 upon 600 into 1000 upon the concentration value which is given to us as 0 0.1 so this is divided by 0 0.1 non simplification this lambda m value comes out to be equal to 15.6 simon centimeter square mole inverse okay so now we have the value of lambda m infinity which can be calculated by using the lambda naught values given to us so we have lambda m infinity of hcl plus lambda m infinity of naa minus the lambda m infinity value of nacl so this comes out to be equal to 426 plus 90 minus 126 which on simplification gives us a value of 390 so we can now figure out the value of alpha the value of alpha is lambda m upon lambda infinity the value of lambda m was 15.6 and the value of lambda infinity is 390 so this on simplification gives us a value of alpha equal to 0 0.04 now if we talk about the s plus n concentration the s plus n concentration shall be given by c into alpha so it is equal to 0.1 into 0 0.04 so this is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so if we talk about the ph the ph value shall be given by 3 minus log 4 so looking at the options we can clearly see that the correct answer to this question is option 1